Hey yo, lads and lasses, Dan Fire here, back again with some more Infinite Lagrange. So today, carrying on with the fighters, bombers, and chip guides, uh, we have not too many left. We've got the Jambaya, I don't think I've done. I've done the B192, Bullfrog, SC002, Balancer, and the Vetus. So that should cover most of this month and maybe even dip into the Corvettes by the end of the month. Uh, so yeah, so we're getting there slowly, uh, but surely. Uh, yeah, I think that's... I've not done any of the Corvettes yet. I'm not sure what to do with the battle cruisers and auxiliary and carriers, basically, because, you know, they're, you need multiple systems and all sorts of stuff going on from um, extra weapons to really talk about them. And I don't have a lot of those. Uh, so, yeah, may, may, may look into that uh, a bit later down the line. But we've, we've got a while to go anyway, because we've still got the Corvettes to go through anyway. And we've got a few fighters left. So, as you can see, it's been patched. And we've got the new uh, inactive and off-active server uh, service ships. So you can see which ones I'm currently using in Fleet, which ones I'm not currently using in Fleet. Um, so yeah, and you can see that I've got like no tech points on some of these, but you saw that probably in the last videos anyway. Uh, so yeah, the Vetus A is the next stop, um, and then I'll be doing the balancer today as well, hopefully, and then getting that all edited uh, over the next day or two. So the Vetus A, um, it's actually not a bad ship. It doesn't really work in the way that. I tend to run my fleet. However, I start adding it because um, it, it's it's got the you know it, it's got system damage, and I'm not the biggest fan of system damage. I'd rather just blow stuff up. But it has got the propulsion system damage, and that means when you blow stuff up, it's not going to come back. So they genuinely lose the ship. Um, so you can inflict heavier losses using using them. So I've decided. Um, I'm going to stick these in, same reason I got Stingrays, more or less. Uh, you know, make sure that when I am blowing up those carriers or, you know, battle cruisers, etc., uh, they stay there and they have to be rebuilt from scratch, which uh, costs a small fortune. You're coupling that up with, you know, blowing up amps, hindering mining operations in general and harassing uh, as much as you can. And um, eventually it does wear down a union to a point where hopefully they surrender. Uh, so yeah, uh, the Vetus A, again, I try and keep this a little bit further behind the, the my screen line, which is my Balancer Andersons and uh, some of the Corvettes, like the, the Void Elfin and that kind of thing. So uh, I don't have to worry too much about picking up uh, any of the you know armor systems or anything like that early, which allows me to go straight onto the precision strike system, and then from here, it's quite simple. The strategy is really good, but obviously you know quite expensive, so I wouldn't be picking that up first. Uh, you got six slots to play around with here as well, so this is one of the times where I do start like teching into the uh, crit damage and stuff, but obviously. Hit rate first, hit rate's really good, even on this. It's not got the best hit rate in the world, um, but, you know, it's got a decent amount of attacks per round. The duration's a bit slow, and the cooldown and lock-on times are a bit slow, but that the lock-on time works in its favour. But everything else, uh, yeah, increasing that hit rate is just going to get more of those projectiles hitting, causing more system damage faster. So... Recommend going system hit rate first. I then recommend picking up the double cooldown. And then I actually don't go into the torp damage and missile damage here. This is when I go into the crit damage. Uh, and that's due to the fact that more crit damage equals... Uh, it's due mostly against the uh, systems as well. So it hits harder, I find. I've tested this a few times now uh, on this ship before I pull tech points out of it to tests on other ships. I found going into the double crit damage generally saw more system damage than going into the base missile uh, and torpedo damage. Not entirely sure why. Um, again, it's something I need to probably ask 
uh, someone to have a look into, uh, probably Null Pointer or someone like that. Because, um, yeah, it, it doesn't make that much sense to me whatsoever uh, why it's doing that. And I know someone's going to comment, it's because blah, 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 and they're probably going to be wrong because they mostly are. <laughs> So unless Null Pointer really goes into it and go it goes into whatever he does to bring up the data that we get between uh, server and client, uh, it's very difficult to really find out what's exactly going on uh, with crit damage and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure previously, as I've mentioned previously as well, that even though it doesn't state that there's a crit on this system, it does have a chance of crit anyway. So, like on other uh, systems where you have the increased chance, increased crit chance, and increased damage, um, they are increasing that crit chance, that unknown number, uh, unfortunately. So that's where I go with the uh, Vita says weapon system. I go into the crit damage as opposed to the uh, uh, ship damage. Obviously, you're probably going to be dropping one of these crit damages at some point depending on the enemy fleets you see running, if you start seeing, and you will start seeing quite often, um, things like carriers and stuff coming in, this is where your prioritized attack on super capital ships is going to come in. And then in that situation, it's really good to put these on a predator. Uh, any of the types, I believe, uh, definitely the tactical at least, because I can't remember off the top of my head, can prioritize carriers and that means you know this is definitely hitting carriers this is definitely getting the 60 percent damage buff for 30 seconds uh every 30 seconds for 30 seconds um so yeah this extra damage is just yeah it's it's really good at that point in that situation not only that that means that your system is going to be hitting and blowing up propulsion systems of carriers and losing carriers is extremely expensive. And in the anti-carrier meta fleet, uh, that's to counter the swarm fleet, uh, it does a really goddamn good job. Because if you're knocking out their carriers, like I said earlier, you're harassing uh, their mining and their logistics, you, you stop even whale players being able to properly field a fleet. And that's just good for you. It's good for your entire union and, and alliance at the end of the day. So that's my recommendation for the precision strike system. After that, the counter uh, cannon system, I ignore for the most part. It just doesn't do much of anything whatsoever. Uh, propulsion system you can come into to pick up the ship evasion. That'll help out a little bit. You do have enough wiggle room to pick up the target selection time uh, on this due to the fact that... Uh, its lock-on time is not particularly great, so you have got a bit of wiggle room to pick up the target selection time there as well, uh, especially if you're running Balance at Andersons. And then for me, it's triple HP mod on the armor system, and that's pretty much it. Like I said, I tend to ignore this system. If you want to put points so you get the fancy-looking ship, I reckon the double hit rate and the double cooldown is the way you go. Um... Just because, you know, any damage increases here, 1.5 damage for a 10% increase, just not worth it. You're going to get a lot more out of it if you are running uh, the system hit rates and then the cooldowns. These cooldowns are going to give you a much bigger buff uh, than increasing cannon damage. So, that is the Vetus A. Like I said, uh, really good little system damage ship. Uh, they're cheap to produce as well, like cost nothing. As you can see, I only run five at the current moment. Uh, I think I'm pretty much capped on my fleet. It's got 128 aircraft in it at the moment because I'm just testing out something stupid. But um, yeah, it's uh, it, it does it does the work of blowing up projectile uh, projectile systems. I wish it blew up. Actually, no, I wouldn't. Uh, blowing up uh, propulsion system, sorry, and it's fantastic for that. Again, if you start seeing carriers come out, drop it onto a predator, give it that, you know, prioritize super capitals and prioritize um, carriers, and it will do some beautiful work for you, costing your enemies a small fortune, hopefully. So that's it for the Vetus A. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.